Hi drivers. Today I want to explain you the formula steering wheels dashboard logic. This is fundamental aspect of the steering wheel that you must know to use it. There are four different kind of dashboards. The car ad hoc dashboards. The universal dashboards. The custom dashboards designed by yourself. And the management dashboards. To design your own dashboards we will release the dashboard designer very soon. Every dashboards can be composed of one or more views. The views inside the same dashboard generally have the same graphic style. At the moment in the steering wheel we install two special car dashboards that are designed to be used with F1 2021 and F1 2020. We install also two universal dashboards that are designed to receive the telemetry from the Esport Sim telemetry gateway on PC platform. The Esport Sim telemetry gateway sends to the steering wheel the telemetry data of Assetto Corsa, Assetto Corsa Competizione and I Racing. You can find also two management dashboards. The settings one and the diagnostic one. With the settings dashboard you will be able to change the LED brightness, the steering wheel platform, the brake balance preset and several more parameters. You can use the wheel with PC, PS4, PS5 and Xbox on Fanatec, Thrustmaster, Simucube, and every motor bases that have the 6 by 70 mm holes pattern. In the diagnostic dashboard instead, you can test all the steering wheel's hardware. You can test the LEDs the buttons, and the encoders. You can test also the Fanatec Advanced Podium Paddle. On this dashboard you can check also the wheel's IP address, the software version, and the firmware version. You can also check the wheel's ID data and check if a software update is available for you. If an update is found, it will be downloaded and installed automatically. The steering wheel software is designed to have a completely different hardware behavior based on the dashboard or view that you are seeing on the screen. Thanks to this the steering wheel is truly versatile and adaptable to your need. This dashboard system was designed to be easily expandable with other views or dashboards. To change the dashboard on screen you must first set the multifunctional rotary encoder called SL1 to position CD, that means change dashboard and then use the button 10 and button 11 to go up or down. To change the view inside the dashboard, you must instead set SL1 to position CV, that means change view, and then use button 11 and button 10 to go right or left. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for the lesson 2.